Hello team, this is Amir Mustafa. In this video, we will understand how we can install Docker in our Mac OS. So we are in our official site, Docker site. We need to go to developer docs, download and install. So from here we can install for all the three environments Mac, Windows and Linux uh, however one thing to note that uh, Linux is open so that we can install in any version for Windows and Mac there is restriction like if we go to Mac it says that it must be 10.15 or newer And if we go for Windows, it also requires minimum requirement. Let us go to Mac. In this video, we will be installing Mac. So once we reach this page, it asks either install Mac Intel chip or with Apple chip. We can choose any. When we click this, a software is installing. So let me cancel it. I've already installed, downloaded this over here. So if we open this and click this, what we will see a downloader package will come over here. So this will come here, and we just need to drag to this. And after that installation, regular installation starts where we click next and we click finish. So already installed docker. So what we need to understand is uh, when installation will be finished, we will get one whale symbol over here. This is the important thing to note. And initially we will see orange color. It is starting. Now there is a one generic error which we see in docker and most of us will face have faced that whenever we start docker it shows that it keeps on running we have installed docker desktop it keeps on running and never starts goes in the endless loop this one it will be in orange color so tried restarting and many things but it doesn't uh, get we doesn't get the start so there is a fix for this so i'll be sharing in the description so what we need to do is just go to our terminal where is the terminal over here and we paste this command one by one so normally before running this will this will be in endless loop not starting so what we have to do is one by one copy this command one two three four so we are giving access this three command we need to run after that what we'll do we'll click this quit docker and again we go to over here search docker and start it uh, we need to wait one minute then and eventually it will start so this is uh, a real problem which happens and this needs to be fixed before actual work in docker so let us go to our dashboard console so earlier we we will not get this screen what we will get 
uh, same screen in the, if we click any of the container we see desktop is starting issue i think i we can see the screenshot somewhere so we get this this message and orange color yeah and one more thing we uh, what we can do it is optional that if we go over here docker and uh, sign in and create docker hub it will take us to the page which asks us if you, whether you wish to sign up a regular sign up but it will work without sign up as well okay so uh, as uh, logged in i'm getting this over here and also in my docker i guess let me try sign in I think this will take some time to reflect. Open Docker. So let me uh, close this. Cancel. Okay. So we are now logged in. We can see that our we logged in with an account. Uh, so what we will see once uh, after we run that command we see over here green green means our docker is running and we are good to go so if we are in dev environment we can we see multiple feature what we need to see over here is if we go to setting start docker when you are login include vm some basic stuff configuration every time our system starts docker starts one thing we need to note is whenever one thing we need to note is that whenever we are working with docker docker software must be running without that we cannot run any docker commands this should be green So alternate tool for this is uh, before desktop was developed uh, there was a toolbox uh, which was introduced toolbox doesn't have a limitation like we have in mac that 15151 so but the newer one is in this one desktop docker desktop so good to use this one and uh, if you go to a terminal docker if you hit docker you will see that